Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and this is Wonderful Wednesday. Today is our banner of the month and our theme this month is Christmas in July. So we're going to make this really festive, almost Nordic style banner together. It has seven pennants. It features spellbinder dies and Echo Park Gnome for Christmas paper. If you'd like to see how to put this beautiful banner together for your home this holiday, stick around because the tutorial comes up next. In this weekly series, I cover a variety of projects. The first Wednesday of the month is our tag of the month, followed by our banner of the month, birthday card of the month, and then flower of the month. And if we have a five week month, it's a wild card. So this is the second week in July, and it's time for our banner of the month. We are working with a collection I had in my stash from last year. This is Echo Park Gnome for Christmas. And even if you don't like gnomes, this is a great collection. I, as you can see, I have used it extensively um, because I love the patterned papers so much. So I use this. I wanted to create a more whimsical, almost um, Nordic feeling, woodland feeling banner, not as shabby chic as what I usually do, just more playful and fun for the holidays. So for my banner bases, I use the wonderful scallop labels and tag dies from Spellbinders. These, there, look how many of these they are, and they pair up beautifully. So all you have to do is die cut your base from cardstock and then your liner with the next smaller die. And it, I love these, I'll be using them a lot. And then I thought it would be fun to feature some of the holiday dies that are have just come out. This is the home for the holidays. Um, this is the Saint Nick. And this is a lot of detail in this die, but look how cute it is when it's made. So he's going to be featured. And then I also have Nicole Spore's um, needlework dies. I have a whole bunch of them. There's this wonderful needle and thread and the the Christmas tree, the stockings and candy canes. This is the embroidery hoop. And this is, I forget what this stitched greetings or something like that. But these are really fun. And I had a good time putting all of these together. So each of our pennants is gonna feature a little scene made with these dies. This is a bit of an abbreviated uh, tutorial because I'm still helping my daughter and my husband has just been cleared by his physician to resume normal activities. So life is smoothing out a little bit, but I'm still way behind. So here are the pennants that I cut out with that die. And you can see I have a small one on each end, and then I alternated with the wood grain and the red snowflake for the five pennants in the middle. And we're just gonna get started with this first one. These. On these, I'm using the embroidery dies. The first thing I want to do is put these embroidery hoop seams down. And I've put eighth inch foam tape on the actual embroidery hoop. And we're just gonna put this down first. It's giving me back talk here. And this is gonna go right on the die. I mean, right on the pennant like this. Just use my thumb to tuck that into place and then seal that down well. Of course, you could use the hoop alone, the hoop die alone to make a gorgeous shaker card. And then this is the little scene that we built. I love this um, Aida cloth background. It makes it look super realistic. And then that will just sit down in there. And how cute is that, that you've got like your little Christmas crafting project that you're working on. And I cut all of these pieces out of the Gnome for Christmas collection. Then this next piece is where our handsome Santa 
is going to go. I just love him. I'm going to take this long tag from the paper collection. This is from the ephemera pack. And I'm going to put it down the left-hand side of our pennant, just like that. Then I'm going to come in with my Santa. And I'm not going to do foam tape. He's got a lot of layers. The way I like to do these is I cut all the pieces out first uh, with using scraps. And then I cut it out with my designer papers. So he's going to go right here. He's adorable. Take him over just a little bit. There we go. Isn't he cute? And I did stickles on his <laughs> on his Santa suit to make him really fancy. And then I have um, another Christmas tree to go down in the background. And you can see you just layer these together. It's the they are soup the trees come together so fast. And these are a great way to use up scraps. It's one of the things I like about these detailed dies is that it gives you a great way to use up your scraps. And then on this 25, this is another ephemera piece. I'm just going to put some foam tape and this is going to go at the base of our tree. Just like that. Look how cute that is. All right. So for this one, this is another embroidery hoop. And I've got these with the Christmas stockings. So cute. I really had fun with these. I was surprised, actually, at how much fun I had putting these together. Because sometimes um, die sets, they have a lot of little fussy pieces. I tend to avoid... But these are so cute that I um, I kind of fell for them. All right. Just going to pop down in there like that with the Christmas stockings. And I scattered some of those stars around in this one, too. And this says Holly Jolly. And then on this one, I went into my stash of Stamparia papers and I want to create like a, a little woodland Christmas scene. All right. And this is from, um, oh, it's one of their romance collections. It came out kind of late last year. Um, and I didn't have time to work with it. I'll get the name and I will link on my blog to all these different products so that you can find them. So see, I've got this really cool Nordic looking sled. And this is going to go right here, the base of our tree. And then I have this little cardinal. It's going to be sitting up in the tree. Just like that. This little sign that says Happy Holidays. Just like this. And I think it's really cool how well this works. <laughs> and then we got to have a squirrel. He's on the sled. Here we go, guys. So there's that one. And then here on this one is another embroidery hoop. And this is the really pretty evergreen tree from Nicole's collection. And this is going to go right here. like that. 
I kind of really love the simplicity of this. I don't think I'm going to add a ton more stuff because um, I love how it feels sort of Nordic. And you know how Nordic art is a little more minimalist. It's not as much stuff. So that's going to go right here. Pop it down inside. There we go. All right, so now I just have to figure out the um, small pennants, which I will do. I'll put that pretty star right there. Okay. But while I've got you here, so I use these clips. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They're awesome. They're clamps. My daughter-in-law got them for me. And once I've lined, die cut and lined my tag, I place it between this ribbon and the netting in the back. And these are both May Arts products. This is a, a red netting and this is a, a green stitched burlap. So once I put it in there, I put the clamp there to hold it in place and then I go over to my sewing machine and I sewed right down the center with green thread. Now if you don't want to use a sewing machine to attach these together, you can use cute clothes pins, you can, um, you can try using like a really strong glue. And then what I did was I took this forest green gingham, this is from Really Reasonable Ribbon, and I tied streamers around the end. And I'm gonna get these going in the direction that I want them to go. And I'm gonna come in with my bows, which are also tied with that um, forest green. And my hot glue goes right on that knot and my bow comes in like this, okay? And then I tied another bow with Christmas Baker's Twine to go on top of that. And I'll find some flowers in my stash and put them on there to finish that out. But you do that on each end. And then in between the pennants, I took a five inch piece of my forest green, folded it in half, cut fishtail banners on the bottom, and stitched a button onto the ribbon. And these are gonna go in between. And I just think that makes it look really festive. I don't know that I'm gonna do a great big flower cluster on each end. I, I'm liking the clean simplicity of these. I am gonna, on this one, Put a little hot glue here, and a little hot glue here. And I rounded this with my fingers, and I'm just gonna press this in toward itself to make that little arc, and Merry Christmas. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I was thinking of just putting Believe on this front small one like this with a snowflake put the large snowflake there and maybe put the small snowflake right up there okay and then down on this end First, I'll put those other buttons on here too. Then on this end, I have, let's put ho, ho, ho. That's really cute. And let's put that down. Let's kind of put it right here. And let's put the large snowflake here. That's basically it. That's, 
I know this is a super quick tutorial, but I have to go help my daughter again tomorrow. She's doing much, much better, but uh, still needs a little TLC. But I wanted you to see, this is our July, Christmas in July banner of the month with Spellbinders and Echo Park Gnome for Christmas. All right, guys, I'll have detailed photos at the end of this video, links to my blog, and um, links supply list, and you can get your craft on. Kathy Clement, Kathy by Design. Bye. That's all I'm Making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and see the sleighing song tonight. Slay.